Hi, I'm Trevor with Road Bike City, and today I'll show you how to assemble a Cycle Fix Prime fixed gear bike. Let's get started. Okay, tools you'll need for assembly are a box cutter knife and some grease for the pedal threads, an Allen key set, probably a 5 or 6 millimeter Allen key, and a 15 millimeter wrench for the wheel bolts. Okay, start by opening up the box, pull the seat out, pull the pedal box out. Should have a pair of pedals and a multi tool with the Allen keys. I'm going to pull the bike out. It should be fairly light, so you can just lift it right out. Okay, first thing I do is assemble the seat post. It takes a 5mm Allen key. Okay, once that's done, you can put it on the, on the bike stand if you have one. Alright, once it's on the bike stand, you can just take the rest of the packaging off. Alright, so let's put together the handlebars. To do this, you'll need a 4mm Allen key. Take out each of the bolts. All right, so to put in the handlebars, make sure the fork is forward. Pull the bars up. Just let them hang in place. Put the clamp back on. And you'll want to finger tighten each of the bolts in to start them. Okay, once you have all four bolts finger, finger tightened in, you want to uh, tool tighten them down. Um, not too tight, just kind of where it's firm. We're going to reposition the handlebars when I have the bike on the ground. All right, let's do the pedals next. To do the pedals, grab them out of the case. Take your knife and cut them out of the package. And to find out which pedals for the right and which one's for the left, just look on the end of the spindle. One has an R, one has an L. We're going to start on the left-hand side. Take your, take your grease. Put a little bit on the spindle and uh, spread it around a little bit. Okay, now the left hand pedal goes in counterclockwise. Keep that in mind. Please keep that in mind. Be very careful when you're putting it in. Go nice and slow. If you feel it hang up, just pull it back out and reinsert it. Ours went in really easily. Just use the tool that came with the bike to tighten it down. Now I'm going to do the right hand pedal. Same thing. Put some grease on the end of the on the threads, and the right hand goes in uh, regular clockwise. So just turn it to the right. Should go in easily. If it doesn't, pull it back out and use your tool or a 15 millimeter wrench to tighten it all the way down. Okay. Next, let's put the front wheel on. Do the front wheel. Just take the packaging off. have a bolt on either side of the axle, spin all the way to the outside, to the very edge, and pull the little washer to the outside of the edge as well. I'm going to take the bike off the stand for this. Find which way the, uh, the tread goes. There's a one clear direction and this one is facing forward. Slide it into place. And make sure that the little axle uh, washer goes on the side so it kind of locks it into place there. Same for both. And you can use the tool that came with the bike or a 15 millimeter wrench to tighten it all the way. All right next let's work on the brakes. I'm gonna put the bike back on the stand for the brakes. Alright, so first thing we want to do is line up the brake pads. Yeah, four millimeter Allen key will work for this. Just make sure it's right along that little raceway right there. And do a little hand tightening. Let's do the other one. Same thing here, we just want to make sure the brake is going up against the correct place when it is squeezed. So line it up and hand tighten it. 
Okay, next we want to tighten the brake cable down, so use a 5mm Allen key. First loosen it up, squeeze the calipers. I need two hands for this. I usually just squeeze it all the way down. Make sure the brake cable is all the way down. And pull it tight. It's probably going to loosen back up. That's why I put it all the way down. Flip the clip down and it should be right next to the pad but not on it. So when you pull it, it makes contact. It may be rubbing. So in case it's rubbing, there's a bolt on the back here. Initially loosen it up, wiggle it around, get into position. Tighten it back up. This wheel happens to be quite a bit out of true, so we're going to have to true this wheel before our first ride. This is common with uh, factory direct bikes, so if you happen to get this wheel wobble, you'll have to take your bike to a shop and they should charge only 15 to 20 bucks true your wheel. To adjust your seat you'll use a six millimeter Allen key. You're probably going to want the seat back just a tiny bit. Loosen it up at first so you can slide it to about the middle. This is all depending on your riding preference of course. Tighten it down. That's how you do it. Alright, last thing we need to do is take the bike off the stand. We're going to put the seats together properly and the handlebars. Alright, so let's adjust the stem bolts. Loosen them up and put the tire into position. Line up the, line up the handlebars and tighten it back down. It's always personal preference, but what I usually do is set it up so that the uh, Zyklefix logo is facing straight out. I guess should give you a good downhand position, side and top. And use your 4mm Allen key to tighten down the bolts. Tighten them down one at a time so that none of them gets too tight. Tighten them down until they're firm, but not past that point. Now, depending on where you like your hand to be when you're riding, you may want the brake lever higher, or you may want it lower. For me, I like it about midway, somewhere I can easily go to to grab when I need to, but not in the way when I want to ride. So what I'm going to do is loosen it up. I'm going to loosen it up and feel around kind of where it feels more comfortable for me. So I personally like having the brake lever closer to the stem. So I'm going to tighten the brake lever down closer to the stem. Perfect. So to adjust the seat, first pull it down to approximately where your inseam is. Right about where your belt would be. You shouldn't be able to put both feet on the ground comfortably flat. You should have to come out on the balls of your feet a little bit. The ideal riding position is with your legs mostly extended in the downward position. So as you can see, I need to put the seat up quite a bit more to get to that position because this is where it's at right now. All right, last thing we need to do is pump up the tires. So to do that, get your bike pump out. Make sure your bike pump has a Presta valve or a Presta valve adapter. Take the caps off the Presta valves. You can discard those caps. You really don't need them because the Presta valve locks itself down. Unwind the Presta valve adapter so it's open. You can press and you'll hear air come out. Put the bike pump on. You'll have to put a lot of pressure to get it on there. Okay, on this one it shows a maximum inflated tire pressure of 110 PSI. So we'll put it to about 100, 110. Okay, when you pull the cap off, make sure you turn the Presta valve thing back to the uh, closed position by turning it clockwise and do the other tire. Same way, just discard the black cap. Open up the valve. 
press down the bike pump and up to 110 psi. All right, there you have it. This is our Zyklafix Prime Fixie Bike. It's all assembled and ready to ride. The last thing you need to do is true the front wheel, but besides that, everything's ready to go. I hope this uh, assembly video helped you in some way. If you have any questions, you can comment below and subscribe to our channel.